and welcome to the Bartender Video Tutorials. In this video, we will look at how to set up a document for a laser or inkjet printer. Let's get started by opening Bartender. From the Welcome dialog box, we can start a new Bartender document or open an existing Bartender document. We'll get started by choosing the Start New Bartender Document option. This opens the New Document Wizard. If, for whatever reason, you do not get the Welcome dialog box, you can always come up to the File menu and choose New. This will also open the New Document Wizard. In the New Document Wizard, you have the option to open a blank template or to work on an existing bartender document, which you can select from the files on your computer. Since we're setting up a new document, we'll begin with a blank template. Click Next to continue to the printer selection. Here, you will see all of the printers installed on your computer. If you do not see your laser or inkjet printer, exit the New Document Wizard and install it at this time. Go ahead and select your printer and click Next. Bartender contains a list of commonly used label and tag stocks. If you know the stock that you are using, you can look through this list and choose that stock. If you need to use a stock that is not in the predefined list, you can choose to enter custom settings by selecting the Specify Custom Settings option. For now, we will use Specify Custom Settings and click Next. Here, we need to select the appropriate sized paper or medium that we will be printing on. For now, we will go with traditional 8.5 by 11 letter size. Notice that we have a preview window that gives us a graphical representation of our document template. We can also change the orientation of our template. A portrait orientation prints our design as you see it on screen. A landscape orientation rotates it 90 degrees. We also have a printer icon that shows how your design will look upon exiting the printer. For now, we'll select a portrait orientation and click Next. Here, we select the shape of our labels. Notice the preview image on the right updates with our selection. Let's go with a typical rounded rectangle and click Next. The margin is the distance between the edge of the paper and the actual labels. Here, we need to enter the margin measurements for the top, bottom, left, and right sides of the page. Once we have entered our margin properties, click Next to continue. Now, we need to enter the number of rows and columns we have on each page of our printer stock. If you are printing on a single sheet of paper without labels or tags, enter 1 for both columns and rows. For this example, let's assume that the labels on our printer stock are arranged in 5 rows and 2 columns and click Next. Here, we set the size of the design area for each printed item on the page. If the preview does not look like the page you will be printing on, you will need to adjust either the template size or the gap pitch size by checking the Set Manually box. The template size is the width and height of the actual label that you will be printing on. The gap or pitch is the amount of space between each of the items on your page. Bartender will do the math for you if you enter only one set of measurements for either template size or gap pitch. Once our template size matches our actual printer stock, we can move on to the printing order. Anytime we have multiple items on a page, we need to tell Bartender where to begin printing. Pick the corner where you want the job to start from the Starting Corner dropdown. Next, we need to tell Bartender which direction to go – horizontal, from side to side, or vertical, from top to bottom, or from bottom to top. We can always refer to the preview to see how our labels will print on the page by looking at the numbers on the sample. The Select Starting Position at Print Time option is useful when you have partially used pages of label stock that still have blank labels on them. Choose this option to tell Bartender exactly where you want to start a new print job. The last option tells Bartender to automatically track the position of the last print job. If you choose this option, remember that you must manually re-enter the unfinished sheet of paper into your printer each time you print. Let's keep things simple and set our print order from the top left corner, printing horizontally across the page. Now that we have determined our template size, orientation, and printing order, we can move on to the background options. Here, we can add a number of background features to our design template, such as a background color, a background picture, or a template image. We will cover these features in another video. For now, we will stick to the basic document setup and click Next. This brings us to the end of the new document wizard. 
Here, we get a review screen that presents us with all of the settings for our document. This is a good time to point out one more useful feature of the wizard, the back button. If we want to go back and make changes to any of the settings, we can always click the back button to make that change. When we click Finish, our new bartender document is created. We can also click Finish at any point in the wizard to go directly to our new document. Finally, all we have left to do is save our document. One last important note. Many of these settings can be changed at a later time using the Page Setup option located in the File menu. To quickly recap, creating a new document in Bartender is easy. Simply open the New Document Wizard on Startup or from the File menu and follow through the pages until you get to Finish and Save. If you still have questions about this process, consult the Bartender Help System or check out our other videos. Thank you for watching.